Hey loves, so welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Day and if you like these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe and join the lovely family. And for those of you who have been here, thank you guys so much for coming back to see me once again. So I'm just getting off work. I am about to do like my unwinding kind of situation. I showed, I told you guys that I would show you how I like moisturize my hair now that I have an undercut. I do have to switch it up a little bit so we're about to unwind i'm gonna go into the bathroom show you guys how i do that before we start though i do want to say this video is in collaboration with dasse and thank you again so much dasse for collaborating with me for another video for those of you who have been here you already know i love dasse i work with them so many times um and their products are just tops here and you guys tell me that too so i'm glad that you are enjoying the products but if you are not familiar with dase dase is a luxury fragrance brand and they simply believe that everybody can afford a luxury fragrance should be able to um pretty much meaning that these companies that are pushing out these super super high price fragrances are unnecessary okay and that's it gives us the same type of fragrance the same quality at an affordable price which i love i have not spent a lot of money on fragrances in general since I have started using Dasse. I remember when I first started to get into fragrances, my thought was that the more expensive something is, the better it will be. That's absolutely false. <laughs> okay, regardless, like any fragrance, anything that you spray is gonna run out eventually. So you wanna make sure that you are saving yourself some coins and going with something that is affordable so that you can be able to repurchase. Today I chose two more, so we're gonna go ahead and get into that. If you are not familiar with the packaging, I do wanna show you guys. It has this super sleek packaging with this grapefruit. This is like my favorite thing because I just love the pop of color. I chose the fragrance Powdery Hawthorne. And this, um, it looks like this. And it has notes of orange blossom, um, hawthorn, vanilla, it's like flower notes in there. So we're gonna spray and see my favorite part. Oh wow. I really like the way this one smells. Most of Dasse fragrances that start with powdery something, I generally go towards those because it means it's gonna have this like soft, like feminine type of fragrance. And I always enjoy them. Like every one that starts with powdery, I always enjoy them. And I love, love, love having the fresh like after shower scents. And this is gonna be a really good one. So powdery Hawthorne, if you love a feminine fresh like airy scent you are going to love that one i'm going to leave that out because i'm probably going to use it today and next we have ambery vanilla i have a vanilla body butter that i was gifted and i just thought that this would be perfect to go with it i love 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 um matching like my uh, body butters and like creams and stuff with the fragrance um so here is what it looks like and this has notes of pink pepper mandarin jasmine orange blossom vanilla and coffee and i have smelled black opium before and this is very good mm, yeah so this is very like a sensual sense and if you are familiar you know this is very nice this i would consider to be like a date night you're going out type of type of fragrance it's so beautiful of course as usual all the information is going to be linked down below so go ahead and check out dossier and i should also have a coupon code down there below so you can save some money on top of the discounted prices thank you again dossier for collaborating with me for another video let's go ahead and get into our moisture routine all right guys so again i'm just getting off work and um i like to moisturize my hair and tie it up when i'm at home just because running around with my kids laying down on something i don't know it always happens where i just forget to tie up my hair or moisturize my hair and i end up in the bed okay so i want to avoid that by just moisturizing it like you know as i'm like changing my clothes so i'm gonna take off my jewelry first because i forgot to do that and put that in a safe place okay so everything is pretty much similar aside from my undercut i'm gonna take some water this is drinking water of course or just purified water in general again remember i told you guys like the type of water that you um have in the area in which you live plays a huge role and like you know you think about it, you're putting this this water on your hair every single day you got to make sure that it is pure and good water a lot of people they're putting water in their hair that's like drying their hair out and they don't realize what it is it's probably your water if, if you've done everything else it might just be your water so if you're taking sink water there's nothing wrong with that but um 
if you live in an area like I do where the water is very harsh, you might have to actually use like water from the store or like get a, what is it, the, um, the purifier and put it on your faucet. And that's not even being extra. Like people do that with like their skincare and stuff too. Honestly, I might need you out my skincare to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, so water, just make sure it's damp. I am going to take rose water, put it on my edges. I am going to be also switching up some of my products soon. After this edge control I have is done, I'm not going to buy that anymore. I'm going to buy this lock, um, like this lock like serum that was recommended to me that's supposed to like lay but also be like nourishing and stuff. I'm going to buy it and explain to you guys if it's worth it or not because it is like $30, okay? Hmm. But we'll see. Um, so what I like to do is I'm still on my hemp seed oil right now, which is crazy because for the longest time I used Argon. Um, but I, I'm loving the hemp seed. It does what I need it to do and it's not heavy. So I just take that and lightly put it on my locks and that is because I moisturize pretty often. So I don't need to use a whole lot. Um, I was talking to a friend that says she moisturizes her hair once a week and she's having some problems with dryness. Guys, everybody's hair is different. Some people can moisturize once a week. I can't. Okay, I moisturize almost like every day, every other day. I'm spraying something on my hair, whether it just be just rose water or like, you know, a water and a little bit of oil. Like my hair is getting some type of moisture every day just because that's the type of hair I have. And I feel like when I skip days, it gets so dry. I don't know, that's just me. Um, I'm putting a little bit of Jamaican black castor oil around my edges just to continue to grow them. They're doing great. They could be better, but they're doing great. And my edges and stuff is really going to determine um, whether I keep this set of locks or not. So I really have to stay on top of that, to be honest, because that is, if they don't get back to where I need to be, I'm definitely not keeping this set. Um, and I will, I will start over if need be. All right, this is where it gets interesting. I'm just very loosely going to put my hair up into a ponytail. Cause I'm gonna take this out up later. Out later, I just need to like get it out the way. I look crazy, I know. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some Jamaican black castor oil and put that on my um, undercut and just lay it down and try to separate my locks from the undercut. Then I'm gonna take a very small amount of leave-in conditioner and. This is the leave-in conditioner I like to use. It is the Shea Moisture Strength and Restore leave-in conditioner. I love this stuff. Love it, especially for loose uh, natural hair. I use it on my daughters. Um, when I had loose hair, I used it. I used it on my husband when he had loose hair. Like I just, it really does what it says it's gonna do, which is like strengthening. I can never use it because I have locks, but because the back of my hair is like completely shaved now, I can use a little bit um, as long as my locks are out of the way. And I'm trying to train this back section to lay down more. So I'm just going to put that down and lay it down. Then I'm going to take my brush and just brush it down. Next, I am going to take my scarf, which I need to clean, and <laughs> tie it on the back of my head. This is gonna cover my edges and my undercut, which is great. Then I'm gonna take the rubber band out because we don't wanna leave that in. And then I'm gonna take a bonnet and please don't judge. I'm still using my daughter's bonnet because she has two and she's not using it. So <laughs> I have this pink bonnet and I'm gonna use that to cover up uh, the rest of my locks. And um, I like this bonnet. I have other bonnets, but I like this one because it's so small because it's made for kids and I have a small head <laughs> and it just fits on top. Like, look. So yeah, I have my scarf underneath. So my edges are tied down at night. The back of my hair is tied down at night and I have this on top. Perfect. 
So I could either leave this one till tomorrow or sometimes I do like take it off, you know. Usually I like to cover my hair up when I'm dealing with my kids, when I'm cooking. I like to uh, take my bonnet off when I'm in the shower just because I really like that hot steam. But that's pretty much it, my moisture routine. Very simple. Let me know if you guys are using any of these products or what your go-to product is, your go-to oil is down below. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.